Okay, so here we are. This is a part two because I kept stopping the video or, or losing it somehow. I don't know. Trying to do this on a phone is just uh, not the way to go about it, I guess. But then again, I'm not trying to be that guy with the, with the fancy GoPros and everything. I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing here. So I finally got this. It took me, I think, three or four tries of putting it together, taking it apart, rewrapping it, wrapping it with more of this uh, gas tape, Teflon tape, and I finally got it to where it's not leaking. Because the first time I did it, it leaked. I did it again, it leaked. I think I, I don't remember, but anyway, how many times? <laughs> In any case, seems like I got it. And just so you know, I'm using the right stuff here, gas leak detection solution. You just squirt a little bit over it, every connection, every every place you put it together. There's also the sniff test because gas does smell. So that's how I noticed it the first time before I even, I didn't even have the, uh, the leak detection on it yet. Anyhow, that's where I'm at. So now I can take this off of here this is now permanent. This one piece here will always be here. Oh, that's a, a little pressure in there. So this will always be here. There's the other hole for the that. Now I still need to get um, sealant, silicone, all on these joints inside here. And then of course, as I said before, this surface will all have a rubber gasket on it. I think a little uneven there. I'll have to take that down with a sander, smooth it out. And uh, then I've got the, the lid to go on it, which will actually be the front. And that's going to mount right inside my side cargo doors um, so that it'll be very easy to get at. I can reach in. Don't even have to go inside the, the van to get to it. Reach in unhook the this this one and the other one and then pull it out have it refilled uh, that is the only drawback of, of using this size I originally wanted to use the 20 pound uh, so I could just swap them out take an extra one easily because I've got two of them anyway you know one on the grill and one backup um, but just the overall size of it you know this every every bit of space is is precious to me <laughs> in that van all right so now there we go so now i am going to stop this video and i'll just keep making uh part one part two part three of this project uh until it's done anyway thanks for watching i hope you uh got something from it maybe trying to use a lamp nipple <laughs> for gas connections um, problem was I couldn't find a brass piece I could not find it couldn't find it in the local hardware couldn't find it online anywhere um, it just it wasn't gonna work like this the way I did it um, without this piece and I just happen to have this one odd size brass nip, uh, lamp nipple with one nut couldn't find another nut to go on it but it does match the threads of turn it back around again but it does match the threads on these uh what are they uh half inch npts also known as fip basically the same thing uh slight difference as to how what the ends are like but the size of the thread the diameter and the thread counts are the same so in order to connect these pieces which are all half inch NPT. I needed to use this to get this on there. I needed something to go in between and it worked anyway. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time. Take care.